In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at vSAN Data Persistence Platform, in particular the Minio service, which you can deploy. I already have a vSphere with Tanzu environment set up and running. I have a number of namespaces created. I'm going to use this namespace called Cormac NS, in which to deploy my Minio service. Uh, and in order to do that, we use a part of vSphere with Tanzu which is called the services. And we're going to add a new service, which is, of course, the Minio portion. Now, where do we get the manifests in order to install these services? There is a JFrog repository, which I'm just looking at here. And underneath the artifacts, all the VMware artifacts, what you find is that there is a VDPP partner YAML folder. Within that folder, you'll find the manifest for the various services that we support. So you can see we have services from Cloudian, Dell, Minio, and indeed there's a Valero one there as well. So underneath the Minio one, if I just extend it, you'll see that there's a supervisor service. And from here, we can actually get the YAML manifest that we require to install the service, or at least register the service. The installation comes later. So I can click on that like so, and you can see it starts downloading for me. So let's go back to vSphere with Tanzu. I'm going to add a new service. I'm going to upload the file that I've just downloaded. You can see it here. So I'm going to open that. You can just read the registration details. And you can see it's from Minio in version 2.0. Read the EULA and agree to it. And then finish. So what you now have is the Minio service registered with vSphere with Tanzu. Okay, so the next step then is to go and install that service. Now you can click on the actions here, or you can do it from the inventory. So under hosts and clusters, selecting the cluster, configure, and come down to the overview of vSphere services. Under available, we now see Minio. So we can select that and click install. So there's only one version. We don't have multiple versions at the moment. And the only other thing that's optional uh, is to provide registry details. The operator and the other objects that are required for Minio are on Docker Hub. So I'm going to stick that URL in there. And I'm just going to provide credentials that I have to Docker Hub as well. So that should go off and pull down the various objects that are required for the deployment of Minio onto vSphere with Tanzu. So you can see there's a new namespace created here, and you can see that there are various um, pods, or pod VMs that are getting created on behalf of that service. But before too long, the pods should be online and the service should appear in the available section. Okay, and so the plugin has been deployed. Um, it is, has been successfully registered and installed. So let's just do a refresh of the browser, which is what it's asking us to do. Okay, so let's check the installed and it is now fully configured. Excellent. And what you should also notice is that there's now a new Minio section in the configure portion of the vSphere client. So under general, you can see some general Minio information. Uh, I haven't put in any license yet, but they do provide with a 60-day eval period. What I'm most interested in now is the tenants. So now we essentially have the Minio operator installed, and this will allow you to create new Minio deployments, um, essentially new S3 buckets that can be consumed, or S3 object stores with buckets that can be consumed within each of the different namespaces. So I'm now going to add a new bucket or a new object store with buckets to one of my namespaces called Cormac NS. So I'm just going to call it Cormac S3, something like that. And the namespace is Cormac NS. Now there are different 
storage classes that you can use. Um, these are the storage classes that would have to be associated with the namespace in the first place. Uh, vSAN default policy uh, simply means that vSAN will deploy the objects, the persistent storage objects or persistent volumes with replication using the default policy. But because Minio has built-in replication itself, you don't need to use that. You could actually just use data locality host affinity, which just is a single one-off uh, component that is created on vSAN. So we would rely on Minio taking care of the protection of the application itself rather than relying on the external storage to take care of it. There is another option we could have used, one called vSAN Direct, but I don't have that configured in this particular environment. So I'm just going to go with the data locality host affinity shared knotting architecture storage class. This now will roll out a minimum of four Minio servers to host the object store. You can specify the size, that looks good. CPU selection is rather large because I only have 40 CPUs in each of my ESXi hosts. So I'm gonna drop that right down to meet. The rest looks good. There's the erasure coding configuration, which as I said, Minio has its own built-in protection for the object stores. So we're gonna consume that also. Preview the configuration, looks good to me. Can go ahead and create, and obviously now you need to make a copy of these credentials, or you won't be able to log into your object store uh, afterwards if you don't have these creds. So that's those saved off, I can finish the creation. So now if I look in the Cormac NS namespace, there is already a TKG cluster in here, but now I can see the Minio servers getting deployed out uh, the four servers that we requested in the previous configuration step. And we can see some of the other necessary components being deployed now as well. And that doesn't take very long at all. So let's go and have a look at the details here. And you can see that it looks like it's already created. Uh, we requested 100 gig, but none, nothing has been used at the moment. Everything looks healthy and online. Let's check the health for more details there. It all looks good. So let's go back to the details and let's see if we can connect to the Minio console endpoint. And there we have the Minio console now available. Let's use the credentials that we copied previously to see if we can actually log in. And there we go, we have reached the Minio console dashboard. So hopefully that's given you an idea of how easy it is to use the vSAN data persistence platform to install the Minio service and then subsequently deploy Minio tenants. Thanks for watching.